right now we're going to cover something called project management. And project management is really important to consolidate all your footage, keep everything together in one spot. It's very important that you keep your project near the same location as to where your footage is. Um, and we're going to do this for our current project where we're at in the classroom at the moment. Um, but uh, when we're all done, we can consolidate our projects into our own folder so that we have all of the assets in one location for our project. Okay, so let's take a look into Premiere and see just what that looks like, how we do it, and what the end result will be. Hey. Alright, so here we are in Premiere and I've got my project up here and this is all complete and I'm ready to project manage this um, and for right now I'm just gonna manage this to my desktop for the time being so I'm gonna click on my sequence down here you can see I've got the box here and I'm gonna go to file project manager down here at the bottom and you might have a bunch of sequences I only have the one here right now which is good so I'm gonna make sure that that's checked and I want to collect files and copy them to a new location. Under options, I want to exclude unused clips. This is extremely important because it will get rid of the clips that you don't need. Maybe you brought in a hundred pieces of footage and you only use like 50 of them. Um, so we'll do that. Then we'll include audio conform files. That's fine. Um, I don't usually include preview files. It'll rebuild it when you open up the project again. It just takes up extra space and then rename your media files to match the clip names that's fine there too next important thing to do is select your destination path so we're gonna go ahead and click browse and um, I'm like I said I'm gonna collect the desktop or select the desktop so I'm gonna say desktop and I created a folder on my desktop called projects and that's where things are gonna be stored for now <clears throat> I can move them later uh, wherever I want to later and then I'm gonna click projects and there we are click select folder as you can see <clears throat> users desktop projects there you go disk space available um, original project size unknown so if I sit uh, click calculate it's going to look at the project and it's going to tell me my original project size is 6.28 gigs and my resulting project size and estimation will be 1.5 gigs so quite a bit smaller so it actually is going to save some space right now so once I'm all done with this, I'm going to click OK. And we're going to let it process. This operation requires a project to be saved. Click Continue. Yes. And we're going to let this process out. Um, a bigger project might take a little bit longer, depending on the size of your clips that you're using and things like that. OK, and just like that, it's all complete. So let's go ahead and I'm going to close this out, close this project. And let's open that project up and see what we have. So I'm going to go File, Open Project desktop right projects copied national anthem so this is the copied file that I or copied project I just created you can see it's 1.5 gigs so it's a little bit smaller than what its estimate was and there's my national anthem it also has the media cache and other files along with the video so let's click on national anthem and there you go there are all of my clips right there it looks like I saved I opened up the same project but you can see in my project panel here there's a lot less clips uh, than what was originally there. So it's saved a lot of space and time. Now, why would I do this? Why would I do this? So one thing to do is like, say you're working on a project and you wanted to send it to a friend or just back it up. You can't just save the Premiere project file because all of the files inside the timeline are linked. If I was to move one file in a different location or simply rename a file, it would break that link. So project managing your project keeps all of those original files into one nice clean folder with your project file. Yes, it does duplicate your footage, so it does require some more disk space, but your project is all together. So I can take that folder and copy that to a drive, like a flash drive or whatever, and then take that to another computer and continue working. That's really good about that. That's really important about that. Okay. Um, also, if you're working on a project and um, you're running into some network issues, like maybe it's slowing down for some reason, project manage it like I just did to my desktop should make it run faster. And then you'll just continue copying your files to the desktop and work locally. Once you're done, 
collect all your footage with your final project, project manage it again, and this time send that to your backup hard drive or wherever you want to send it and store it. Uh, that will save time, space, and ideally should be more efficient when it comes to slower network situations like you might have at the school. Uh, I hope this helps with learning to project manage. This is really important. We're going to start doing this going forward. So every project, once you're done, project manage it to your own number, uh, to your own folder. That way you've got all of the files you need. So really at the end of the school year, you can see how much space you need. You can grab all of your projects, put that onto a flash drive or whatever you bring into class to back up your own stuff if you want to keep it. And then you'll have all of the footage as well as the project file for whatever you would need in the future. All right. All right. Well, I will see you in class and let's get to uh, looking at project management. I hope this helps you out in the future.